Hey guys, it's Peter Fry and welcome to the Living with Hope podcast, a daily devotional where we dig into God's Word and explore what it means to live with hope in Jesus. Today on the podcast, we're coming off of the tail end of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, and we kind of skimmed over a question that Paul asks there in the end of verse 16. He says, for we are the aroma of Christ to God. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15. We are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one, a fragrance from death to death, and to the other, a fragrance from life to life. And Paul's describing that our ministry, though, and he's not just talking about people who are pastors and missionaries and church planners and these kinds of vocational ministry. Uh, he, what he's going to point us to in chapters 4 and 5 is the reality that all of us who are followers of Jesus, everyone who is a new creation in Christ, is a minister of reconciliation to our world. And so he's talking about all of us here, that our ministry is to be an aroma to the world around us. And, and to those who are being saved, it is the aroma of life. And to those who are who are not following Jesus and are not saved, it is the stench of death. Because the message of Jesus is that there is condemnation apart from Christ, but in Christ there is forgiveness and life. And so he, he's describing this ministry, and in many ways, it's this hard ministry. It's this ministry uh, through suffering and hardship and even unto death. Well, he says uh, later on, we're constantly, or actually in chapter one, we're constantly being given over to death. We felt we were so utterly burdened beyond our strength. We felt that we had a sentence of death. And, and, and so here... Uh, Paul asks a question, and it's at the end of verse 16, who is sufficient for these things? In other words, who's qualified for this? Verse 17 says, we are not like so many peddlers of God's word, but as men of sincerity as commissioned by God, in the sight of God, we speak in Christ. So we're going to pick up there in chapter 3, verses 1 through 3 today. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again? Or do we need, as some do, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are our letter of recommendation written on our hearts to be known and read by all. And you show that you are a letter from Christ delivered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Okay, what is Paul talking about here? Well, there's a couple of things that's going on. First is, there were some critics in Corinth, as we've been seeing all throughout this letter, and one of the things they're critical of is, hey, Paul, you didn't bring any letters of recommendation with you when you came to Corinth. How do we know that you're trustworthy? How do we know that you're qualified? And, and Paul's really building on that question that he asked, who is sufficient for these things? Because he's raising the question, am I qualified for this? And this is what he said. He basically says, I do not need a written letter of recommendation. And then he says, you are my letter of recommendation. And he's pointing to the church in Corinth, which Paul, God had used Paul to establish it, to um, disciple it. We see that in the first letter of a letter of First Corinthians, where he's he's helping them process sin and uh, forgiveness and all of the dynamics of living this Christian life. And he says, "You yourselves are our letter of recommendation." In other words, you want evidence that. I am called by God, that I am sufficient for these things, take a look at what God has done in your midst. He says, this is what has happened. And I love this, verse 3. He says, and you show that you are a letter from Christ delivered by us. And notice the position that Paul takes in this whole process. I mean, 
In many ways, the church's existence in Corinth was a direct result of Paul's missionary journeys. And he could say, I did this. You just look at how great I am. But no, he says, I was the delivery man. I was the driver of the mail truck. And you are the letter written by Christ. And notice how this letter is written. The end of verse 3 says, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God. This is, this is a, a, an amazing metaphor for what the spirit of God does in and through the ministry of followers of Jesus. Is that we simply become delivery vehicles. We, we become those who deliver the good news, the life-giving work of the Spirit. And what the Spirit does is the Spirit writes not on tablets of stone, and what this is referring to is the old covenant in which God revealed his laws and, and revealed his character through these laws written on tablets of stone to through Moses to the people of Israel. And it, 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 in many ways, what is going to happen throughout chapter 3 is God is going to show us uh, through Paul's writings here that the old has gone away and the new has come and the Spirit of God is writing on human hearts. And Paul says, I'm, I'm a delivery man in this process. I've been invited to, um, to be part of what God is doing in your lives. And so you don't need a letter of recommendation to know my credentials. This is the work of the Spirit. And take a look at the transforming work that God has done by writing His story on your hearts. And this is, uh, I think, an amazing picture for us as we think about what God wants to do in and through us, among those who He has placed around us. It, it, he wants to write his story by his spirit on the hearts of those around us. And this is the letter of recommendation. This is the credentials. This is the sufficiency that God is doing a work by his spirit. And so Paul, rather than pointing to his greatness, points to the work and the greatness of the spirit of God. And he says in in verse 4, such is the confidence we have through Christ toward God. And his confidence isn't coming from himself, but rather, he says, verse 5, not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything is coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God. We're going to take a look at those verses tomorrow on the podcast, but for today, let's sit back and reflect on what is the story, the, the writing of the Spirit in our own hearts? What has the Spirit of God, God done in you, and who did God use to be the delivery of that uh, letter um, that, that Christ is writing in our lives? And and then um, I hope we can reflect, God, how do you want me to be part of what you're doing today? Uh, God, I am not sufficient in and of myself, but I believe that you have called me. I am commissioned. I am called. I am equipped. And, and God is calling each of us to be part of his delivery of his writing on the heart's of men and women and boys and girls everywhere as he changes lives and instills hope as men and women and boys and girls discover the life-changing forgiveness that is found in Christ alone. This is our letter of recommendation. It's you. It's what God is doing in your midst. And so be encouraged today uh, that this isn't some religious system that that we're simply peddling, but this is the transforming work of our risen Savior, and He invites us to be part of it. Thanks be to God.